From the heart of the jungle comes a savage cry of victory. This is Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. From the black core of dark Africa, land of enchantment, mystery, and violence, comes one of the most colorful figures of all time, transcribed from the immortal pen of Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan, the bronzed white son of the jungle. And now, in the very words of Mr. Burroughs, the story of Tarzan and the arena of death. In the ever-important search for food, Tarzan was ranging a part of the jungle unknown to him. With the keen alertness of the wild creature, he was alive to all that was strange and unusual. No sound escaped his ears, no scent went unidentified from his keen nostrils. For those of the jungle, eternal vigilance is the price of life. Suddenly, Tarzan stopped. The scent of man was strong. A native calls for help. You are hurt. Mercy, Boaba. Do not be afraid. I, I'm Tarzan. What? The Lord of the Jungle, I... Now, be quiet now and rest. I, I'll get you water. You feel stronger now? Oh, yes, Tarzan. Who are you? What are you doing alone in this country? I am Wanji, from the city of Ortho. Ortho? The name is strange to me. It is to the east. Two suns. Two days away. What brings you here? My master, Thorvald, the king's brother, brought myself and others to hunt meat for our city. The lion men attacked us. The lion men? Yes. It was they who killed the others. You're the only survivor of the hunting party? But for my master, Thorvald, they took him prisoner. These uh, lion men, why are they so called? They train lions to hunt and kill. They attack our village, kill many elephants which masters have trained to work. Your masters are wise. An elephant can do the work of many men. We are helpless against the lion men. They kill game in our valley. We must travel far to find meat for our people. Well, the jungle has food for all. Where do these lion men live? In the city of Victor, at opposite end of valley where my people live. Ortho? Victor? Those names are from a, a past civilization. The lion men are many and powerful, Lord of the Jungle. What can be done? Your master is a prisoner. A powerful force threatens the peace of the jungle. We go to the city of Victor and the Lion Men. We'll return in just a moment to our story of Tarzan and the Arena of Death. Tarzan's jungle-bred knowledge made the trail of the lion men easy to follow. Wanji, the native of Ortho, hurried to keep pace with the swift-moving lord of the jungle. Presently, the screams of Tantor, the elephant, came to Tarzan. Even louder was the roar of Numa, the lion. Tantor is in trouble. Hurry! Look! Tantor has fallen into pit! Numa, stand stark! The lion men must have... Left a trained lion to watch over their quarry. We must release the elephant. Oh, but the lion, it will kill you. That may be. I'll take the chance. Of all the beasts in the jungle, I count the elephant as my best friend. The lion turns. He sees us. Stay back, Wanji. Numa roars a challenge. With a mighty earth-shaking roar, the king of the beasts sprang toward the lord of the jungle. Knife in hand, the lithe bronze body of Tarzan hurtled through the air and fastened itself securely around the lion's back. A sinewy arm was flung around the beast's neck as Tarzan found a handhold in the shaggy mane hair. Long, muscled legs locked around the lion's shanks. Numa plunged, carrying Tarzan with him. Tarzan's knife flashed in the air once, twice, again and again as its sharp point sought a vital spot. And then the lion fell. Tarzan leaped from its back, put his foot on the vanquished lion's body, and loosed the victory cry so often heard through other jungles and plains. Come. We will release Tantor. Elephant kill? I do not think so. Deep cuts on back of elephant. I will dip a bamboo stick in the mud of the riverbed and treat his wounds. One tusk is dark. 
has been discolored, a distinctive mark. He's probably king of his herd. He is big, Tarzan. How will you get him out of pit? With my knife and your spear, we will dig a ramp so he can walk out. We're close to the river. The ground is not hard. Then we will again follow the lion? Yes, they cannot be far now. They must plan to return to get this elephant. After Tarzan closed the elephant's wounds the best he could, he and Wanji set to work with spear and knife to excavate a ramp. Cantor, the pain of his wounds eased by Tarzan's crude but effective treatment, seemed to sense that these two strange men were his friends. He stood quietly, swaying gently from side to side as they worked. There. That's complete. Yo, Tantor, Bondo, Handy. Stand back, Wanji. It's best to be cautious. A great bull climbed slowly from the pit. As he came out, his sensitive trunk passed over the body of Tarzan in what was almost a caress. Look, Tantor leaves peacefully. He does not harm us. The bull will go back to his herd now, and his wounds will heal. Come, we must move swiftly after the lion men. They passed here not long ago. The river tells you this? No, these tracks. Come on. The scent of the spore is fresh. We'll climb to the top of this rise. We should catch sight of them there. You, you climbed too swiftly, Tarzan. I can't... Look, Wanji, down there. Where the jungle falls away to the plains. The lion men. A score of lions followed by perhaps a hundred warriors. And the lions behave like so many trained dogs. Tarzan, the lions turn. They see us. No, Wanji, they only catch our scent. The wind has shifted. They are turning this way. They're coming after us. Travel fast, Wanji. To your city of Ortho. Tell your king we'll need many men. But you, Tarzan, what of you? They will chase me while you escape. The lions will tear you to shreds. Not unless they've also been trained to climb trees, Wanji. It's our only chance. Go now, quickly. Good luck, Tarzan. Tarzan stood his ground as the lion men picked up the scent and started toward him. When Wanji was out of sight, Tarzan turned and raced in another direction. The lion men followed with a snarling, roaring beast straining at their leashes, but could not keep pace with Tarzan. Release five of the lions! The five lions sprang from their masters and bounded after the lord of the jungle. The jungle echoed their roars. Had they been wild lions, they would have stalked their prey in silence. But now they raced upon Tarzan with savage fury. The bronzed white sun felt their breath on his neck as he hit a jungle vine and swung with all his might into a friendly tree. The lions leaped to seize him. Tarzan watched the snarling beast below him, and then the surrounding lion men approached and leashed the lions. Tarzan dropped from the tree into the midst of the men. Ungo! Ungo Hoto! Horus, guard this man. Put him with the other prisoner. We will return to Victor. You are silent? Have you nothing to say? Nothing. You ask for nothing, no mercy? Nothing. <laughs> you are a fool. Surely there must be something you want. I would not ask anything of an enemy. Horos, take him away. We go to Victor. Get in there, wild man. Join the elephant man of Ortho. You are not familiar to me. You are Thorvald? Yes. How did you know of me? A native of your city, Wanji. Wanji? I thought the lions killed him. He was lucky to escape. He's now on his way to Ortho. Good. My brother Ortho and the king will be after us. Thorvald, how do you account for the names of these cities, Ortho and Victor? They're, they're from a language of another continent. Well, it is said that in another age, a band of people came from the other side of the great water in search of peace. Of these, only a few reached this valley. Even they quarreled among themselves and soon split into two groups, each setting up their own cities and gods. And they're still enemies? The people of Arthur are concerned with the fruits of the land. We have trained our elephants for work in the fields, and our crops have been abundant. Those of this city, Victor, are hunters. They kill many and plunder villages. A great difference. Indeed. As the people of Victor breed lions, we of Otho breed elephants. Their god is Thus, the lion. Ours, Dias, is an elephant. I only hope Wanji arrives safely in Otho. It is a long way. We may not be alive by the time my people arrive. 
We must escape. Well, there's little hope for that. These iron walls are strong, and the lions outside are many. Oh, the guard. And there are others with him. Well, it is good to see the prisoner in such good spirits. Go back to your lions, Savage. Silence, elephant men. You dare to speak to one of Victor in such a manner? Talk will only work against you, Thorvald. I do not care what these pigs of the jungle think. They can do nothing worse to ah, me. He wants to see what else we can do. Do with me what you will. I do not fear your insane actions. We shall see, Thorvald. Come, let us make sport with this noble elephant man. Chain these two to those racks over there against the wall. Now, heat that iron. I am sorry, Tarzan. I fear it is I who caused this. Quickly, bring that iron. You must not weaken now, my friend. Dying is not easy. Perhaps there's still a way. These chains are weak with rust. They would kill us either way. No, we're not dead yet, my friend. Ah, Thorvald. Your eyes widen at the sight of this red-hot iron. Look at it well. It is the last thing you will see. Guard moved toward Thorval with a hot iron. Tarzan strained at his chains. His mighty chest expanded to capacity. And sinewy muscles, hard and rigid, fought at the iron links. He has broken the chains! Look out! As the chain dropped to the floor, Tarzan sprang at the guard with savage fury. His hand twisted the red hot iron bar from the man's grasp and flung it to the far side of the prison. The other guards leaped on Tarzan, fighting to stop his onslaught. Tarzan was indeed a man possessed with a taste of freedom. Two men went down under his relentless blows, but the odds were too great. The guards fought back to the heavy iron doors, and once outside, slammed them shut against Tarzan's might. Hey, you fool! You will never know mercy! I ask none. We shall go to our king and tell of this devil with the strength of a thousand men. Victor shall surely choose a fitting death for such a savage. I owe you my life, Tarzan. You owe me nothing, Thorvald. I would have done the same for Numa in the face of such inhuman action. We are doomed now. Uh, we can still hope that Wanji arrived safely at the city of Ortho and is returning with Orthon and his warriors. The guards are returning. And Victus the king is with them. This is the wild man, mighty Victus. Oh, Tarzan, you thought you could stand up against the lion men, huh? Indeed, I tried. And for such a mighty warrior, it is only fitting that your death befit you. We have something special planned. So? Tomorrow, in the great arena of Victor, all our people will turn out to see your great strength. Am I to fight lions? No, wild man. Tomorrow, you and Thorvald die in the arena. Trampled and gored to death by a rogue elephant. In just a moment, the exciting conclusion of Tarzan and the Arena of Death. They will be here shortly, Tarzan. I know. We shall die. I know that also. There's nothing unique about that. Many people have died. Many will die. Does it uh, frighten you? No. We must all die. What matters is how we die. If we meet death courageously, there'll be no regrets. For myself, I'm glad that an elephant is going to kill me. For I am an elephant man. And I bear the title with pride. I should prefer the lion, for the elephant has always been my friend. My very best friend, perhaps. I do not like to think that a friend must kill me. <sighs> the one in the arena today will not be your friend, Darzan. No, but others have been. You think there's still a way out? I always hope. It is possible. Prisoners, we go now to the arena. We're ready. The people of Victor await their sport. Half a hundred warriors of Victor, all in their best trappings, their freshly burnished arms shining in the sunlight, 
formed a procession in front of the palace. A full hundred lions, tugging on their leashes held by the warriors, roared their power. Following, herded by four huge black-maned lions, came Tarzan, Thorval, and other doomed prisoners. A full company of warriors carrying banners and pennons brought up the rear. Victius sat majestically in the royal loge. The procession moved past the cheering citizens, whose anticipation of thrills was heightened by the rumors of Tarzan's strength. We are being taken to the arena. There we will watch while the others before us are killed. Those gates blocking both ends of this corridor, they do not seem very strong. They do not have to be. No one can escape. Ah, the arena is filled now. The uh, events are to begin. There are other victims before us. Look, that giant who's entering the arena now is Mayak. See, he carries a sword and a spear. He's a lion man? A favorite gladiator of the people. And uh, the man facing him is armed with only a small dagger. <sighs> It'll be more of an execution than yours. Was over with quickly. Poor fellow. He had no chance. I think I could have defended myself against my arc, the giant. Careful. The guard overheard you. You think you could have defeated him? No, why not? He's clumsy and stupid. Most of all, he's a coward. Perhaps we can arrange an encounter for you after the next event. In all, Victor, there is none more courageous than my arc. I can believe that. Look. Yes. They're letting a lion loose into the arena. Oh, that lion is old. Most of his teeth are gone. But he is a killer. Yes, he is still a powerful brute. I suppose you think you could defeat a lion, too. I have. <laughs> the beast roars for an opponent. Uh, but if Maya kills you, we will never know if you could have killed the lion. I will fight them both at once if Maya is not afraid to go into the arena with a lion. I will see about this. It would indeed be something to watch. Why could you say that? Didn't I tell you I'd rather be killed by a lion than an elephant? I wonder what they plan for me. We will find out. Only too soon. Mighty Victus, permit me to speak. What is it, God? The bronzed one called Tarzan laughs at our sport. He finds himself facing death and he laughs? Tarzan says he can defeat both the giant Mayak and a lion. <laughs> and the elephant man, what is he to say? He says nothing. But he seems unafraid. This should be an interesting performance. Perhaps we can make it more difficult for these brave fools. How do you mean? The elephant we captured last night. He is mighty and a vicious rogue. We shall put all three against Tarzan and Thorvald. <laughs> It is arranged even more to your liking, perhaps. What do you mean? It seems you are honored, Tarzan. You and this elephant man will go into the arena together, not only with Mayark and a lion, but the rogue elephant as well. The elephant, too? Yes, and a fine specimen of beast, as wild as a maddened bull. What does Mayark think of this? I think he does not like the idea. But if Mayak can kill you before the lion and the elephant are let into the arena, he will be made a captain. Are you ready, Thorvald? Yes, Tarzan. Follow me. You will take your places in the center of the arena immediately. Stay behind me, Thorvald. I have a plan. I can't let you face him alone. He has a spear and a sword. We have nothing with which to defend ourselves. Oh, you're wrong, my friend. We have our wits. The giant Mayak ran toward the two men, holding his spear in front of him. Tarzan stood his ground as Mayak lunged the spear point at the naked breast of the Lord of the Jungle. Tarzan seized the shaft of spear and wrenched the weapon from Mayak's grasp, hurling it to the ground behind him. As Mayak reached for his sword, Tarzan was upon him. Steel sinewed fingers seized the giant and swung him around. The lion is loose, Stan. Perfectly still. If you try to run, it will chase you. It is trotting toward us. Yes, but it's a small lion, pitifully emaciated. It has evidently been starved to make it ravenous. I chose fear, Tarzan. I will give this Numa something to eat. 
Tarzan's words struck terror into the heart of Mayak. He struggled fiercely, but could not escape the vice-like grip Tarzan had on him. As the lion approached, Tarzan moved to meet him, pushing Mayak ahead of him. Just before the beast launched its lethal charge, Tarzan gave Mayak a tremendous shove directly toward the lion. Mayak turned quickly to one side and broke into a run. Tarzan stood his ground. Not a muscle moved. The lion turned from Tarzan and Thorvo and pursued the running Mayak. Directly in front of the royal loge, where Victius sat spellbound, the lion sprang, and Mayak went down to a mercifully quick end. Release the elephant. Quickly, then. We don't have much time. I'll dispose of the lion. As the lion stood growling over the body of Mayak, its back toward Tarzan and Thorval, Tarzan sped with the swiftness of Sheeta the panther and leaped astride the cat. The mighty elephant caught Tarzan's scent and started across the arena. Tarzan grasped the lion by the mane and loose hide on its back. He lifted it bottle, at the same time swinging and whirling the beast with him. It was the lightning quickness of his act that made it possible. That and his great strength, as with one superhuman effort, he flung the roaring beast into the royal lows of Victius. The lion clawed at the king, lashing his talon paws out as he fought from one loge to another. How's that? The elephant. Get back! Panther, stop it. Yes. He has a discolored tusk. Wanji and I released him from a pit. He caresses you with his tusk. Quickly. Climb on his back. We'll batter down the logs of the palisade. Nada, hey Ludo! Ludo! The elephant gathered Tarzan and Thorval in its folds and lifted them to its head. At a sharp command from Tarzan, the mighty beast whirled and charged across the arena. With lowered head, the great bull crashed into the flimsy palisade at the inner end of the corridor. Then the outer palisade fell before him. He carried Tarzan and Thorval out into the flame and toward freedom. Look behind, Tarzan. Already they are pouring out of the arena to give chase. Before long, they'll be organized and in full pursuit. Once they lose the lions, we will have little chance of escape. Look ahead, beneath that cloud of dust, the racing elephants of Otho coming at full charge. And gee, he's brought your people. But now we're right in the middle of a full-scale war. Closing in rapidly, the opposing groups met with a clash as Tarzan and Thorval wheeled the bull elephant to lead the charge. The mighty elephants of Ortho scattered the foe right and left, and the foot warriors closed in behind to thoroughly rout the lion men, who were not prepared to meet an attack of such proportion. The Victians retreat, my friend. Yes, my people have shown their strength. Their retreat is cut off. The sign of surrender is called. Perhaps this will be the last of our battles. Oh, but the toll of men is great. Come, Thorval, let us go to your king. Victius and Orthon, I bring you together under a flag of truce. You both seem stunned by the useless slaughter of so many men and animals. We have long been enemies, Tarzan. What is to be gained by killing? Tarzan is right. We could live in peace. I am ready, Tarzan, to abide by your suggestion. And you, King of the Lion Men? I will obey. There is no reason why you should be hereditary enemies. We're all of the same ancestors. You, Warthon, have taught your people to work the fields and produce abundant crops. That is true. And you, Victius, have taught your men to hunt well. Yes, Together, your peoples have all that is necessary for a bountiful life. You can work and provide each other with the fruits of your labor. I am willing to accept this plan, Victius. Yes, Orthon. We shall be friends. Welcome to my... to our valley. I know this peace shall be a lasting one. And now I must return to my home. You have done us a great service, Tarzan. And I shall never forget how you saved my life. Oh, Tantor saved both our lives, Thorval. Yes, it was amazing. That elephant remembered what you had done for him. The beasts of the jungle are not given enough credit. Like humans, they too will welcome kindness, and when they return that kindness, it often means the difference between life and death. In just a moment, a preview of our next exciting story of Tarzan.
In our next story, you'll hear about a fabulous uranium discovery in the hidden land of Gurma, a land dedicated to peaceful farming, suddenly inflamed by a savage lust for war. You'll meet a sinister woman known as Panther, her equally sinister partner, and the most vicious killer Africa has ever seen, Tremaine. Included in our cast were Jack Moyles, Bob Bruce, Victor Rodman, and Charles Seal. Tarzan, a creation of the famous Edgar Rice Burroughs, is produced and transcribed by Walter White, Jr., prepared for radio by Robert Schaefer and Eric Freewald, with original music by Albert Glasser. This is a Commodore production. Commodore production.